Uh, hey guys, um, it's currently uh, f almost five in the morning, and well, if you're wondering why I'm uh, up this um, early or late, I guess, um, it's because I've spent the last three hours compulsively exercising to burn off um, the calories that I consume from eating way too much at dinner, and that's because I just have way too little self-control, especially when I'm eating uh, food that I like. So yeah, but back to the real reason for this video, and that's because I wanted to talk about how social isolation or what's it called? Social distancing is my everyday life. And I feel like I should have made this video at the peak of the COVID-19 outbreak. I don't know, maybe for more views or for more attention. And more specifically, because I feel like it's not something that's being talked a lot about on YouTube. Although, I don't know, maybe there's a lot of channels out there that I'm not really aware of that have maybe talked about this issue. But yeah, so uh, yeah, social distancing is my everyday life. Um, I know that a lot of people have been making a big deal about the whole COVID-19 pandemic. And um, I don't know, just the fact that they have to stay indoors and, you know, I guess as most needs would say, you know, normies are losing their minds over the fact that they have to stay indoors all the time. And people are bringing up studies about how, you know, domestic violence or abuse or whatever has gone up by what, like 50%, suicide rates have gone up. And that's supposedly because people have to, um, I guess, stay indoors, are no longer able to work. And um, I guess can go out and socialize on the weekends. And, you know, I don't know, I guess in some ways, feel for them because well if i could do all that stuff then you know maybe i'd be depressed you know but that's more from like a hypothetical standpoint because i mean to be frank uh i can't really relate to any of that because this is pretty much how i've been living my life for for the past several i don't know is two to three years considered several years yeah i guess it is right or at least several months that's like what 36 months at least no i don't mean i don't really know because i basically lost track of time in my need to i don't I haven't really kept a, a good record of how much time i've spent in the state but yeah back to what i was what i was saying and that's that well yeah this is pretty much been my everyday life and when you're like this when you're neat um i'm not sure if any needs watching this can relate but if you're a normie or i mean by normie i mean like someone who isn't neat and while you know you haven't really experienced this lifestyle you know time seems to fly by and i know that people always love to say that oh time flew by it's already 2020 blah 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 blah, blah. it's a new year but I mean, I guess that's true of everybody, especially as you get older, I feel like time seems to just go faster and faster. Um, kind of like, um, I'm not sure if any of you watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but, well, I'm not gonna get into that, but in detail, but there's this, oh, I'm not actually gonna talk about that because that's gonna take way too long. And honestly, I could go about that, on and on about that forever because I honestly, love that anime and i feel like the person who wrote it is basically a uh, shakespeare of uh 21st century but anyways um yeah back to what i was saying um yeah just time seems to fly and um because i guess as a need you pretty much do these same activities every day and um well when you get I mean, I guess it's not too different some, from someone who's working some dead-end job with no progress and do the same exact task every day. But I don't know, maybe it's even more so as an E because you're not really doing anything that requires any effort. You're doing things, you're just consuming things mindlessly and not really paying attention to your 
a lot of basic needs, no having no responsibilities. So, you know, time just seems to accelerate and accelerate because you're in just you're just in this hypnotic state of um I don't know passive consumption if that makes sense and you're not really doing anything and I feel like a lot I can really feel this when I'm doing things that I'm highly addicted to and which is pretty much mostly watching YouTube and listening to podcasts on YouTube and yeah like honestly like eight hours can go by and it's like already nighttime it's like it can I can literally wake up uh, spend some time on YouTube and it's already dark and like I'm just like where the hell has the time gone so that's what it's like as a neat and well you know given that the amount of inertia in my life as of now um well nothing has really changed in this pandemic because well time is still flying by um I don't know, it was kind of exciting at the start because, you know, there's the whole, I don't know, it's kind of like a mix of excitement and fear when the whole like, I don't know, lockdown thing started and then I was kind of like, you know, I was kind of excited like buying groceries because, um, well, I don't know, you kind of feel like you're in some like apocalyptic, like end of the world, like viral outbreak movie and like <laughs> everybody's like, like uh, wearing masks outside. I, I saw some guy in my um, <laughs> supermarket um, nearby my place. I'm not gonna say which market because, well, like again, I don't wanna dox myself, but um, this guy basically was freaking wearing like a gas mask, I think. And then he had like t-shirts wrapped around his neck and I don't know, like, and like two beanies and like, or like a hoodie like over that like not a hoodie but like a jacket like you put the hood of his jacket over all that crap and zipped it up and this guy basically just looked absolutely retarded and but i mean i don't know he looked retarded thinking back in hindsight but at the time i was like wow holy shit like i'm literally experiencing the end of the world i mean that's probably the most exciting thing that's happened to me in a while so i guess for that brief moment um it was kind of interesting like i was like kind of thinking in my mind while i was shopping for groceries like what the like what the hell am i gonna do if somebody jumps me for my <laughs> for, <laughs> for my cans of spam that i have in my shopping cart like i'm gonna have to like fight them i guess like i was thinking like maybe i'd i'd uh i'd i'd bash him on the head with a can of spam and i know that sounds kind of like disturbing and brutal and you know, thinking back, like it's that's probably like highly unnecessary behavior, I guess. Well, maybe not if depending on where you live, but I mean, where I live, I guess like things are pretty peaceful. Might have doxed myself there, but yeah. Uh, but you know, when you're living in the moment, um, I don't know. It just feels like when you're when you're right there, and like everybody is like panic buying, like freaking people, like literally. Um, some guy literally just got the entire box of craft dinner and like put it in a shopping cart and i don't know i was like i mean i didn't really mind at the time because i already i already got my few packs but i mean i imagine like people were probably pretty pissed at him but wow i'm rambling back to the main point um that was pretty much the only time um when i actually felt time like come to normal or i guess it's in times of excitement or fear or intense emotions that time seems to slow down and I guess where you're, I guess, living life. But when you're in this state of just perpetual numbness of mindless consumption, like some some rat pressing a lever for food or for for dopamine, for like to get their brain stimulated, to get high, for like some meth addict, uh, injecting themselves with a uh, i don't know with meth i don't really know about that i know about other drugs but i don't really know about meth uh thank goodness but um yeah uh so yeah those are the few times where you know i guess 
I felt alive as bad as that as bad as that sounds but you know after the whole covid hype covid panic whatever crap wore down and you know I actually got sick with the virus I kind of talked well I suspect that I got sick with the virus but uh, um uh, anyways um yeah um after all the hype wore down you know it was basically back to you know back to the usual crap i wasn't really doing anything different um living my everyday routine i guess and well time sped right back up to where it is now and i'm just speeding up faster and faster the months are flying by i'm getting older and older and um i don't know it's definitely not a good feeling i'd say like um i mean the whole reason i made this channel was that i'd hopefully gain some speaking skills i guess and become more eloquent because i'd like to break out of this lifestyle eventually because it's honestly i don't know it's really good but it's really i don't know it's like i could get i could work a dead-end job because I, I don't have a university degree or i could stay neat and leech off my parents but eventually i'll have to get a job because they'll force me anyway so i guess in that sense i might as well enjoy it while it lasts um and hopefully maybe do something productive in the meantime like make videos for this channel and well work on my other hobbies and passions which hopefully i'll get to show you maybe i'll eventually make a video showing my um my daily routine i'll try to make it cinematic so it's more entertaining but um yeah uh i feel like i pretty much didn't talk about what i wanted to talk about at all which is how my life hasn't changed or did i i don't even remember but that's just the consequence of being neat or maybe it's just that i don't have practice um enough practice speaking because i pretty much don't talk to anybody well as i explained in my last video um yeah um what else i guess the only thing that did change was the fact that my parents are in the house all the time and you know i i kind of do mind it a little bit just because you know as someone who's just naturally introverted and that social anxiety and all like my trauma side, uh, Asperger's aside, someone who's just naturally introverted, I do need time to recharge my battery. And I feel especially recharged when I'm totally alone, just like the feeling of being completely alone. I mean, it can get to me eventually and eventually I'll want to have some human contact, even if it's with my parents, but at the very least, I do need periods of time where I'm just completely alone in my house and, um, well, not my house, but you know, you get what I mean. Um, yeah, like, you know, it's nice to be, have that just feeling of complete isolation. And that's maybe why something like social distancing really hasn't affected me at all is because of just the way my personality is and how my brain is wired, I guess. And I don't know, is that, I guess in, in normal times, I'd be considered an absolute degen, an absolute uh, mong, degenerate, whatever you wanna call it. And you know, maybe you'd be right, but I mean, in these times, um, could you, actually say that i'm more well adjusted that i'm more well adjusted for these circumstances maybe people like me are built for the apocalypse uh for periods of you know prolonged isolation because well uh you know i feel like i read something about evolutionary psychologists um hypothesizing that um asperger's or autism was actually uh, it exists in our genes because people with Asperger's and autism in the past tended to stay away from other humans apart from the bare minimum of like procreating whatever and those people tended to survive longer because um well 
if you met another guy, another, another Chad, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, whatever, like if you met some guy and he pissed him off, he, you'd have to fight him to the death and he'd probably bash your head in with a rock. And um, yeah, so yeah, maybe I'm really just someone who's built for these times. Maybe needs, maybe this is a time when, when needs will rise up and inherit the earth as the COVID um, calls the normie population and the needs inherit all of the the wealth and whatever crap. I mean, yeah, fat chance that's gonna happen. But and honestly, as much as I hate, um, you know, the wages who um, talk shit on the needs subreddit and put needs down. Um, well, I really wouldn't want that for them. Because, well, I don't know. I guess everybody's just suffering. Everybody, most, most people hate their lives. And yeah, so I don't know. That's as far as my empathy extends. Apart from that, I don't really know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm probably rambling right now, so... I'm gonna end the video and um, hopefully I'll get back to uploading better stuff. Anyways, uh, peace out guys. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, me walking around and maybe that um, the extra motion um, made the video more interesting. But anyways, hopefully hit the like button, like and subscribe buttons and uh, peace.